Hello students, in our previous class we talked about phrasal verbs and separable phrasal verbs. In today's class we will discuss about inseparable phrasal verbs and the verbs will be transitive. Let's start. With the following phrasal verbs, the lexical part of the verb, the part of the phrasal verb that carries the meaning, verb meaning, cannot be separated from the preposition or other parts that accompany it. Who will look after my estate when I will be on leave? This is an example. Here we see that look after cannot be separated. We have to write them together. Look and after. Okay. Let's see some more examples. First phrasal verb here is call on which means ask to recite in class. The teacher called on students in the back row. Here we have used it called on the phrasal verb together. Next is also call on as you know that a phrasal verb can have more than one meaning. Okay, here call on means visit and the example sentence is the old minister continued to call on his sick parishioners. Okay. Next is get over. Get over means to recover from sickness or disappointment. Example sentence, I got over the flu but I don't know if I will ever get over my broken heart. Next is go over which means to review. Example sentence, the students went over the material before the exam. They should have gone over it twice. Next is go through. Go through means to use up or to consume. The country went through most of its coal reserves in one year. Did he go through all his money already? Okay, go through a uh, phrasal verb has some more meanings we will discuss later on. Okay, next is look after. Look after means to take care of. Sentences, my mother promised to look after my dog while I was gone. Next is look into. Look into means to investigate. Sentence, the police will look, look into the possibilities of embezzlement. Next one is run across. Run across means to find by chance. Example sentence, I ran across my old roommate at the college reunion. reunion. Next is run into. Run into means to meet. Sentences, Carlos ran into his English professor in their hallway. Next one is Take after. Take after means to resemble. Here is an example sentence. Rita takes after her mother. Okay. Resemble means to look like. Similar in looks. Okay. So children that's all for today's lecture. And here we talked about inseparable phrasal verbs. And the verbs are transitive. Thank you.